So today at Ray Allen, we are going to talk about tug toys. And Ray Allen has a whole bunch of different tug toys, right? We make them in all shapes, sizes, and materials, and all kinds of fun stuff. So we're going to start with, we have like the Americanine line, right? Which this is American-made fabric, American-made stuffing, and American-made handles, right? So every piece of this, it's very compliant, thread, everything, 100% US made. Um, Again, it's very similar to our Syntec material in that uh, it's porous so the dog can grab into it, he can sink his teeth into it, he can use it as a reward toy. It's a, it's a nylon polyester blend, um, so durability is really good on it, much like the Syntec material. So when you look at Syntec material, the Syntec material is actually woven for us in Belgium. Um, again, same thing our bite suits are made out of. So takes a lot of you know takes a lot of repetitions we make it in a bunch of different sizes so we make everything from a leg tug that you can hook on your foot and start a young dog on the leg to sort of a normal tug a normal size tug with a bungee handle we make them with regular handles we make them with two handles so depending on what you're doing this puts you in a position that you know you can two hand this with a young dog and use it like a you know use it like you're starting a puppy um, you can use it as a reward toy for an adult dog for doing dope work or doing obedience reward all that kind of fun stuff again you can start them into leg work with this or, or get them used to biting uh, biting down uh, above or below the knee then we've got them in jute so you've got jute two handles You've got um, you have jute rope. So we do this with a, with a string on it too. This is actually a, a piece of hemp rope, um, jute rope. The ends, are, the ends are, are glued and taped so that it doesn't unravel. Again, a nice piece. You can drop this in your pocket really easy. You can put it in the, the uh, incog uh, shirt and that stuff if you've seen that. Uh, there'll be other videos on that piece. And then we do them in fire hose. So we do a hose tug. This is actually a fire hose material that, that is a dye blue ends, ends are uh, stitched closed. So again, nice little pocket, pocket reward toy. You can stuff it, you can conceal it really well. You can pop it out, use it with the dog. Um, handle you can hook on your thumb so you can kind of, so you can play tug with it, especially with a young dog. You know, you can start them here and then, and be able to actually kind of play tug and work them a little bit on the toy with the baby puppies. So we've, again, we've got a menagerie of stuff, right? And when you think about it, so the first thing is these are these would be considered reward toys or starting a young dog sort of in his in his, in his bite development, right? Um, this is not a chew toy, so it's not something you want to leave with the dog because if you leave it with the dog, they're going to tear it up. You know, we'll, we'll talk about chew toys in a different video and how to use those and how to think about them and stuff like that. So this is a, this is either a reward toy or a dog or a starting dog toy, a young dog or a puppy dog starting toy, where again. You want something that he can sink his teeth into, he can get some satisfaction from squishing it uh, and kind of breaking it in a little bit and actually smashing on it. So you get him used to like building some jaw pressure into it, getting his teeth in, hooked into it, and sinking his teeth into it. Obviously watch your young dogs, your puppies with their little needle teeth as they're, as they're transferring. You don't want to do anything that's, um, that will detract from their work later um, by working a dog that's either teething um, or starting to lose teeth, stuff like that. You want to be careful. But at the same time, you want something that a dog can actually get his canines into, hold on to. You can play tug. You can reward him with it. You can let him have it. You can let him carry it. Um, and it gives, you a, it gives you that reward toy that provides a bunch of satisfaction for a dog that really likes to bite stuff, right? So when you're, when you're looking at these and sort of thinking about what, what material makes the most sense, right? So if you're going to run a dog on a suit, obviously starting a dog in a suit material makes, makes a lot of sense um, so that the texture and the transfer to the bite suit is very, very similar, right? Same thing if you're going to run a dog on a sleeve. Um, jute, same thing. You're going to give him the same texture, same feel that he's going to have on a sleeve. The hose tugs are, are solid nylon. They're a little harder to grab onto where with the babies, you can kind of, you know, try to pop it out of their mouth, stuff like that. And it actually, because it becomes a little bit slippery, it puts you in a position where you develop that grip a little bit. Um, also a good just general purpose reward toy. The nice thing about the, the like the jute rope, this is, a, we sell a crap load of these, um, and the jute rope stuff, because it's so easy to conceal and it's, it just drops in a side pocket. It drops in a, in a, in a hoodie pocket. It just goes any place really easy. And because you can easily two hand it, the dog can sink his teeth into it. He gets a lot of satisfaction out of this and the size of it, right? Cause it's about, um, it's about an inch and a half across. So it's just a nice size for, for a dog, like rewarding as a dope toy. It's easy to throw. It's easy to target at something. 
So if you want to land it at the odor source, you can pitch this at the odor source, you can shoot it at the odor source really easily. That piece is pretty handy, uh, again, on the, on the scent detection side of things. And then, again, all the rest of the stuff works in that. You just want to think about how the dog bites, what he's going to be biting next, and what, is go what your goal is with the dog will sort of send you in the direction of the material that you're looking to use. And again, very compliant material, everything U.S. made, all that fun stuff. So if you, if, you know, from the, from the government side of the world, this is a piece that, uh, that factors in there pretty well. Based on the size of your dog and what you're doing and whether you're concealing it or whether you're working with a young dog, we sort of have a, a reward or, or bite development toy for every size, style of training you can imagine. So you're gonna be able to find that at rayallen.com and uh, we'll see you next time.